to my channel. Hey, this is Miss V. I just got out of work. Had a pretty good day at work today. Um, I just wanted to come on here and talk to y'all. I'm enjoying these vlogs. So I just wanted to come on here and talk to y'all. I wanted to tell y'all, um, I want to come on and, um, finish my story about the doctors in the hospital. Um, if you watch vlog number 11, I was just talking about how the doctors, you know, some of them think they have, they're God or whatever. And so I wanted to come over here and, and clear the air and, um, tell you that there are some good doctors. Um, all of them are not arrogant, you know, don't, do not have manners because, you know, I had one situation where I was sitting at the desk looking at a patient's chart. And so I saw the doctor when he came up. I asked him, did he want to sit there? And he was like, no, you're sitting there. I was saying to myself, now he got some sense, but I still got on up. You know, let me know that, you know, he wasn't no more important than me. I was working and he came to work. So that was good. And then, you know, I got, <clears throat> it's a lot of, you know, that greet you and have good bedside manner. If you are already there working with the patient, they they stand there, wait their turn till you finish. All of them don't just be rude. So I wanted to come on here and um just clear the air. Just I don't want y'all to think Miss V just bashing doctors. That was just a thought that I had on my mind for that day. So anyway, I also wanted to come on here and tell y'all some funny stories that happened at the hospital. <laughs> so with different doctors and stuff. So I got like three. Ooh, hold on, y'all. I'm about to kill myself trying to talk to y'all. Okay, got like three different stories. So the first story, this one happened in the emergency room. And the doctor, he was asking the patient, he was trying to see if they were co coherent to a person, place, or thing, you know, when they came in the emergency room. And so he was asking the, uh, it was an elderly man, I think. And he was asking, the doctor was asking the man, I guess people, everybody just assumed that elderly people can't hear. So he was bending over asking the man, where are you? And the patient said, I'm right here. <laughs> I was going to tell him, I'm trying to be professional and not laugh. The doctor, he can, he, even he laughed. I get that man said, you know, some of these people, you have to be, um, you have to, um, be, um, what you got, what I need this, what word I want to say, you have to be particular how you ask them a question. So anyway, he answered his question. He said, I'm right here. And so that's the first story, funny story. And so the second funny story is, the doctor, uh, he said, he asked, asked this patient, uh, what brings you to the hospital? And the patient said, the ambulance. <laughs> he said that, he knew the patient were, he wasn't that sick. He's sitting up there telling jokes and stuff. But yeah, there'd be some funny folk coming to the hospital though. I'm trying to think of the third story I'm gonna tell you. Oh, this is a real funny story, but this happened years ago. They call it a cold blue. So a cold blue means, you know, a cardiac arrest, somebody the heart to stop. Um, beating or what else so <laughs> we go running up to the fourth floor do what we normally do for the cold blue or whatever doing cpr i don't even i can't even remember if they i don't even think they had started the cpr so one of the nurses go do <clears throat> okay in order to finish this story uh, now nah, i ain't gonna use no profanity because I'm, I'm trying to stop using profanity but i got to use it i got to kind of said where well, it's almost for fan in order for you to understand the whole story or at least for it to be funny so anyway we get up there they they hadn't started the cpr so the patient was non-responsive or whatever so the nurse gonna do what they call a pericardial thump where they hit it the, they they take their fist like this and just hit the heart to try to start it back to i guess it started back to beat just hit it real hard so I get whatever rhythm the patient was in, he felt like he was supposed to do that or whatever. I just seen him do it a couple times. So he did that. He said, Wow, the patient jumped up. What the ain't you hit me for? Man, we were rolling. <laughs> everybody jumped back. Everybody was like, Whoa. I was so tickled. I was like, Lord have mercy. These folks is crazy in the hospital. But anyway, that patient, that that nurse was very particular for he do the pericardial thumps on folks after that. I was so tickled. He hollered so loud. He said, what the ain't you? He ain't say ain't you. You know, you know what he said. He said, what the ain't you hit me for? I was like, Lord have mercy. I was like, I told my coworker, I get this um cold over. <laughs> but anyway, that's just some funny stuff I want to tell you about. Boy, them folks in the hospital be fun. But I love my career as a uh, restaurant therapist. I love helping people. 
I always wanted a job where I help people. I didn't want no job just not saying that those jobs are not um, rewarding, but I'm saying for me, I ain't want no job stacking no papers or making no dresses out. I, I just wanted to help people. I want. I always wanted a job where you help people. But anyway, them three stories I got for you, I got more as they come to me because uh, I've been a therapist for 15 years, so I got a lot of stories. But them the three that I was thinking about today, I don't make a video. But anyway, y'all turn y'all volume down on the video because I know I was loud when I said that. But that, that's how loud that man was. That man was like, what the H you hit me for? Everybody look, everybody jump back at the same time. It was so funny though. Woo. It's hard to try to be professional in some of these situations. But anyway, so I'm headed home. I'm, I'm finna go home and cook some spaghetti. And for the first time since I've been cooking spaghetti, I baked it this time. And it was real good. Cause my ex sister in law used to do it. And I'd be like, oh, that ain't nothing but a little cheese. Throw a little cheese on, put it in the oven. I don't see how that tastes any different. But man, I did that. that it, it made a big difference. I don't know if uh, we were just hungry that day, but so I did that earlier this week. And my husband wanted me to do it again. So that's what I'm headed home to do. Cook that um, baked spaghetti and some. I'm gonna do some green beans. I might video it for y'all, but y'all know how to cook spaghetti, baked spaghetti, and green beans, don't you? Yeah, y'all know how to cook. Be watching y'all videos. Y'all got it going on. So anyway, I'm enjoying these vlogs. I really am. <clears throat> and another, let me tell you this other story before I get home. Well. It ain't no story, but this is what happened to me. I received a letter in the mail <coughs> and said that um, there's a lawsuit out for the um, finance company that financed my car. And you know, and it said that I was eligible to be part of the lawsuit and if I was interested to fill out the paperwork or whatever. So I kept reading it and I said, a lawsuit? I said, okay, and it said on them, that this particular finance company, and mind you, I've seen ads on some of y'all videos of this finance company, but they won't be on my videos when I when I do start monetizing. Just saying it, but I ain't, I'm not gonna call the company's name. But just know they won't. I, Ms. V won't be advertising for them. But anyway, to get on to the story, saying that this company, this particular company, has admitted. It said in the letter that the company, if I could find the letter, I, I wish I could find the letter. I don't know where it is. I don't feel like looking for it. Y'all just take my word for it. Y'all know me if you want to lie to you. This particular finance company has admitted that they charge African Americans more interest than other races. And when I read the letter, I knew I have heard of this type of thing happening, but I've never experienced it personally. You know, when you see a lot of you know, racism and stuff like that around or whatever. It's different when you actually, <clears throat> it's a part of, you know, when it actually happened to you, when you actually feel the effects of it. So I was like, I felt some type of way. I was like, I was thinking to myself, self, self said, huh? I said, I don't even understand that because why would you charge me more rate? I mean, more interest because of the color of my skin and I, that I had nothing to do with. I didn't ask to be this color. Not saying I have a problem with it. I, I, I am well aware of who I am and I'm very um, happy being the color that I am. But I'm just saying why discriminate against somebody because of the color of their skin? You know what I'm saying? So I was thinking, okay, the little money that they gonna, you know, by the time they get through the lawsuit, they told you how much money you'll get. Put it like this, it ain't no money. So I was thinking, since y'all didn't admit it, that y'all over that y'all over um charge me as far as the interest why don't y'all just drop the interest down to what you charge the other people so i can pay my car off early i rather do that then to get that little check that i'm probably gonna blow at the dollar tree <laughs> what y'all think should they don't you think they should just go back since they immediately in a court of law go back and, and charge me like if they charging me 18% interest and they charging the other races 9% just go back and redo can you just go back and redo my contract and go back to 9% if that's the case my car probably be paid off because I ain't got but like a less than a year on it anyway 
I run for you to do that. Cause what? How is the lawsuit gonna help me if it's five million folks in the lawsuit and everybody ain't getting but X amount of dollars? Been to talk to my husband. He won't know what time I'm gonna get home, so I can run my bath water. He's so sweet. But anyway, I am headed to Walmart now. I gotta pick up a few items. I'm still doing um a basket for a college student for my ministry. And I got a coupon today. She needs some always and it expires today. So that's what Miss V is doing. So let's go in Walmart. always didn't have to pay not one penny they were 327 I had a coupon for 50 cent off so they dropped it down to three two seventy three something like that no with tax it dropped it down to 306 because they added tax and I used my uh, Walmart savings catcher I had four dollars and twenty two cents on there so I used that that's how creative I am when I do doing something for my ministry, I just use my gift cards. Let those accumulate since they have gotten so um, particular with this coupon. So I insert a, um, the receipt because the receipt goes straight to my um, account. So I got the always for free. Now I'm headed home. So that's why I came today, because that coupon expired today. So let's go. 